Head coach Sean Payton names the starting quarterback for Sunday and also talks about a significant milestone perhaps in the offing for his football team. The Acme Oyster House afternoon wrap starts right now. Hi again, everybody. Welcome into the Acme Oyster House Afternoon Wrap with John Ashazier. I'm Sean Kelly. Greetings this afternoon from the Osher Sports Performance Center where the New Orleans Saints wrapped up their final regular season Friday practice. Kickoff is Sunday at noon against the Carolina Panthers. And after practice today, we got news from head coach Sean Payton that Teddy Bridgewater will be the starting quarterback for the Saints. Bridgewater will start a quarterback, and uh, let's just leave it at that. He's had a good week of preparation, and... He's throwing it really well. So it would be good to get a chance to look at him. John, I know there was some speculation that perhaps Drew Brees would start the game, go after that 14 or that 4,000 yard mark for the regular season, but I think head coach Sean Payton laid that to rest today. Well, you want to make sure that you get these guys fresh, you keep them healthy. Uh, Drew Brees said earlier this week that the 4,000 yard mark really didn't mean a whole lot to him, and certainly here is the proof in the pudding with Teddy Bridgewater going out there as a starter, because I'm sure if Drew had pressed enough to get those eight yards to get that 4,000, he probably would have been able to go out there for a series, a couple of plays, and throw a couple of rounds and get the yardage. However, Teddy Bridgewater finally gets an opportunity to start for the Saints. Now, he hadn't played a significant game since the wild card game of the 2015 season. That's January 10th, 2016, when he last really played a many, meaningful game because he got injured, then he missed the whole season, then he came back last season. He only played in one game for the Vikings, only threw a couple passes in that one. So this is the first time he's really been back in the groove and had an opportunity to prepare as a starter. Yeah, he's been at the ready all regular season long, but primarily his work has been on the practice field. And as you already know, he'll be a free agent at the end of this season. So there will be a lot of eyeballs on a quarterback that Sean Payton has been plenty pleased about. He's got exceptional arm talent. He's smart. Um, some of the throws he makes are, uh, are pretty special. So forget just running the scout team. It's, it's good to have depth at that position and taste him the same way. You know, uh, it's a good room. Sean, what does it say about him? I mean, he sort of came in as a guy who's been a starter, but he's replaced his role and fit in with his locker room. What does it say about him? As look, he's, he's, he's got all the traits you look for. So, you know, he's, he's pretty smart, and he understands short-term versus long-term, and, uh, you know, he knows he's going to be a starter in this league, and, um, you know, I think it's uh, both sides have benefited. And, but it says a lot about him and, and uh, you know, I think the world of him, just from being around him and working with him and um, he's been a great teammate and, uh, you know, I think he's brought a lot to the team. And while Coach Payton did share information about his quarterback for Sunday, Johnny didn't offer much else about who might play or not play come Sunday. Yeah, this is going to be left to the imagination. And I think most people kind of understand, you know, you can kind of pick out the guys that you believe won't play a whole lot of snaps or, or any snaps at all. I think it's pretty evident you want to make sure that those starters who played heavy rotations this season, you're already 13 and 2. And yes, the team would love to win this game. The guys who are on the field are going to be playing to win the game. However, you might not need a Drew Brees. You might not need a Cameron Jordan. You might not need a Mark Ingram or an Alvin Kamara or Michael Thomas or a Demario Davis or those kinds of people on the field for this particular game. You are going to see some starters, though. The math is pretty simple, John. You still have to trot 43 out there, and you can't have a backup at every position. Yeah, unfortunately for the NFL, you don't have that uh, rules that you have in the, in the preseason where you have 90 guys on the roster. So now, you know, there will be some guys who will have to play basically because they're, you know, even though you might not have all the principal starters out there, maybe a Marcus Davenport, the rookie defensive end, gets a few snaps out there. Uh, maybe you have some guys at defensive tackle, you know, you, you can only play, um, you can only sit a certain amount of guys. So either Tyler Davidson or David on Yamada or Sheldon Rankin right. will probably have to play some in this game, probably play heavier snaps than the other two. So, yeah, because of the limitations by the roster, you will have some starters out there. A win on Sunday would give the Saints 14 in the regular season, something this franchise has never accomplished. And while 14 may be just a number and you're tacking on to what has already been a great season, head coach Sean Payton knows the significance of a 14th win for any NFL team. Relative to where this team is at, I would say – we found a way to win some hard-fought close games in some, some seasons. You know, maybe 
we weren't good enough in those situations, but we have been this year, and and we've got a lot of football ahead now. And so, um, you know, that's kind of where we're at. Not ready to put a stamp on the season, and and and, but it's a chance to win the next one. And you know, it's what I like about this team, and and every one of us working is, you know, it feels too good to win. And so you don't, you know, the the latter. Uh, you know, there's too much work that goes into it, and and yet, you know, there's certain key parts to that, and uh, and I think these guys understand that. All right, so the Saints will go for that on Sunday and uh, continued winning streak over the Carolina Panthers. If they can win on Sunday, John, how many now against Carolina? That'd be five straight, and I know <laughs> Carolina doesn't like it a whole lot, and certainly Carolina will be without their starting quarterback, Cam Newton, as well as some other principal characters. But look, anytime you lose to a rival four times in a row, that's bad enough. Now it might get up to five. Yeah, let's just hope for a great football game. And John, more than anything else, the Saints come out of this thing injury-free. Yeah, that's the main thing. Uh, that's the reason Drew Brees is sitting. You want to keep these guys healthy. Uh, yes, it'll amount to two bye weeks for Drew Brees, but how much action does he need? He's been in this offense for a long time. He's going to stay sharp, so certainly you just want to make sure that guys stay healthy as you proceed into the, into the postseason. All right, one more time this regular season, my friend. The hay is in the barn, and that'll be, what, 17 weeks of hay, 16 weeks of hay, so yeah. we still got a couple couple bales left for the, pre, for the postseason. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see those bales of hay in a couple of weeks. Sunday's kickoff is at 12 noon. It's on Fox uh, for television and, of course, the New Orleans Saints radio network. John and I will be at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. We'll have full coverage pre, during, and post at NewOrleansSaints.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next time here on the Afternoon Wrap.